How are you? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani. Welcome to lesson 15. This one is focusing on the service departments providing services to other service departments. We are still on overhead costing and remember the topic is still cost accumulation. Now, in topic 15, uh, 14, uh, we looked at the steps involved in the uh, location and apportionment of overheads, including a bit of um, service departments uh, overheads being shared to the main departments. But in case a service department offers services to another service department, how do we share this cost? That's what I want us to look at. When service departments provide services to production and other service departments, overheads charged to products will be after service department overheads have been shared. This will help ensure that each department shares its equitable share of overheads based on the benefit that it has received. The following methods may be used to reapportion overheads of service departments where there is inter-service department services. Now, the methods are one, direct allocation method, two, step down or closed method or elimination method, three, reciprocal methods, which inv include simultaneous equation or matrix methods and the repeated distribution methods. Now, looking at the first one, which is number one, is direct allocation method. Method. Services provided by service departments to other service departments are ignored and overheads from service departments are apportioned only to the main or production departments. This method is not, is not normally recommended as it ignores the inter-service uh, department services and therefore may lead to products uh, being over or under valued. Now, for us to understand this, we require an illustration to see how the, uh, we ignore these service departments giving service to other service departments. Now, the illustration reads that Color Limited has three production departments and two service departments. The following is the year budgeted factory overheads for the year ended 30th of uh, September uh, 2016. Production departments A, B, and C. Product, uh, department A, 240,000. B is 180,000 and C is 220,000. Total of 640,000. Service department X and Y, X is 86,000, Y is 44,000, total to 130,000, and the factory overheads total to 770,000. The service department costs are to be reapportioned as per the following percentages. We have uh, departments A, B, C, X, and Y, uh, where department X shares 20%, 30%, 35%, and 15% to department A, B, C, and Y, respectively. Department Y shares 30%, 30%, 30%, and 10% to department A, B, C, and X, respectively. Required. Reapportion the service department cost to the production departments using, the, uh, using all methods uh, above. Now, 
With that now, we are going to use the direct allocation method as follows. So we are going to have the statement. So this is a statement of so overhead distribution so we have um, the overhead what we call the the just the details so overhead so we have the overhead we have the basis we have basis or even the rate we can combine that we have the total we have the department a b c uh, x and y so the overhead here the basis or the rate the total amount the department a department b department c uh, we have uh, the x and we have the department Y. X and you have Y here. This is C and this is B. So we have uh, the budgeted overheads. Mm -hmm. So these budget overheads have already been um, provided. So the base is just uh, reported. So the total is 770,000. Department A has a total of 240,000. B has 180,000. C has 220. Thousand X has eighty six thousand and this is forty four thousand for department Y. Then we are supposed to reapportion. So you come and have here reapportionment of service uh, department cost or the cost service cost. So here we'll begin with uh, Department X. Department X and Y, they are service departments. How do we share the, uh, uh, for Department X? Under the direct allocation, we ignore the inter-service department between X and Y. So we assume that X does not give, uh, does not provide a service to Y. And because the percentages that have been given for X giving to A, B, C, and Y is 20, 30, and uh, 35, and 15, we are going to ignore 15. And therefore, 20 plus 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus uh, 35, this, of course, will give us 85. It's not 100 because we are ignoring the 15% which department X offers to Y. So we are going to have only these 85%. So the basis and the rate shall be 20 is to 30 is to 35, which is giving us 85. So as we share this cost, we are going to share this way for department A. Department A. It is this... 86,000 we want to share. So we are going to have here as 20 over 85 times 86,000, where this is 30 over 85, 86,000. This is um, 35 over 85, 86,000. Then this is 
the 86,000 we want to share, while this is dash. So the amount we are going to have here is, as we do the uh, computation, we have the amount as follows. As follows. That um, 20 divided by 85 times 86,000. This is giving us 20,000 to 35. 30 divided by 85 times 86,000. This will give us 30,353. Well, 35 divided by 85 times 86,000, this is giving us 35, 412, dash, dash. So we are sharing this 86,000 and we have ignored sharing to department Y. And if you add these three amounts, should give you or should add up to 86. So you must recognize that uh, the ratio gives us 85 but not 100. That's something to note. Eh? Then... We go to Department Y. Department Y is allocating or apportioning 30, 30, 30, and 10. We ignore 10. So this is going to be 30 is to 30 is to 30, which is giving us 90. That when you come to sharing to department for Department A, the, we are sharing this 44,000. So this shall be 30 over 90. 44,000, 30 over 90, 44,000, 30 over 90, 44,000. This is dash. So this is what we want to share out. So as you can see, the ratio is going to be the same uh, for all the three departments. So we just divide 44,000 divided by 3. That means we'll be having 14, triple 6, 14, triple 6, 14, uh, triple 6. Hypothetically, you can just have there 7. So that now when you add, they will give you exactly um, this 44,000. So that is all. So we need to add. And as we add, we'll have the following. So this is 770,000. Uh, Department A, we have the initial allocation of 240,000. We add this 20 to 35. We add 14, triple six. This is giving us 274,901. While B is 180,000 initial allocation. We have um, 30,353 and we have uh, 14,666, which is giving us 225,019. And lastly, C is to 20,000 initial allocation plus 35, 412, plus 14,667, which is giving us a total of uh, 270. 079 dash dash so uh, it's only about uh, this the decimal places that uh, we will have uh, maybe a difference of one decimal place uh, but all in all you can see how we have uh, ignored inter-service department um, services that is how we do it and we, we make sure that the, the rate or the basis here is well uh, maybe dealt with that is all about the direct allocation method. Then the other method is called step down or the closed or the elimination method. This is now number two is the step down or closed or the elimination elimination method. So what about this method? What does it entail hmm. 
the service department that provide most services to other service department is closed down first. That is, its overheads will be reapportioned first to all departments, including the service departments that benefited, uh, that benefited. Then it is closed or eliminated. And that means no further reapportionment will be made to this department. The second service department providing more services will be reapportioned next and then closed down. This process is repeated until the last service department is uh, closed. Now, with that, we look at which department that gives the most uh, services. So first of all, let's just copy the statement up to the reported overheads. So we're going to have here the... You have here the details. We have the basis or the rate. We have a total. We have a department A, B, C. We have X and Y.